Hi. Today we're going to explore the concept of density. When most people hear density, they think of mass divided by volume. Well, that's the formula for density, but what does it actually mean? Simply stated, density is a ratio of an object's mass and volume. Mass is the amount of matter, or stuff, that's packed into an object. Volume is the amount of space an object takes up. When you put it all together, density is the amount of matter, the amount of stuff, that's packed into a certain amount of space. The more matter that's packed in, the more dense the object is. For example, here's a cup with some cotton balls in it. As you can see, there's still a lot of empty space in the cup. If we were to put more cotton balls into the cup, we would increase the density because now there would be more matter packed into the same amount of space. Brownies are another great example of density. Do you prefer your brownies light and cake-like or thick, fudgy, and dense? I like the light and cake-like ones myself, but the difference between the two really is just how much matter is packed into that brownie. An object's density determines if it will sink or float. Liquid water has a density of one gram per milliliter. If an object has a density higher than one gram per milliliter, it will sink. If the density is less than one gram per milliliter, it will float. What do you think will happen if an object's density is exactly one gram per milliliter? That's right. It will stay suspended right in the middle of the water. Density is a useful a useful way to identify unknown objects because materials always have the same density. And we can prove this mathematically. Let's take a look at this figure. This rectangle, let's say that it has a mass of 100 grams and a volume of 50 cubic centimeters. If we use the formula and we do mass divided by volume, we calculate that the density is 2 grams per cubic centimeter. Now let's cut the object in half. When you cut it in half, the mass gets cut in half, so now the mass is 50 grams. The volume also gets cut in half, so now the volume is 25 cubic centimeters. When you use the formula, we end up with the same result. The density is 2 grams per cubic centimeter. This is true because if you cut an object in half, you're having both of the mass and the volume so the ratio between them is still the same. So let's say that I gave you five different size pieces of the same uniform material. You now know that they all have the same density because they're all the same material. If we were to plot their mass and volume on a graph, it would look like this. You'll notice that the five points represent the five different pieces of the material. If you pick any point on the graph, say this one, and divide its mass by its volume, you can determine the object's density. No matter which point you pick, the density will always be the same. For example, if we pick this point, the density is the same. Or this point, the density is the same. Created using Powtoon.